So the very controversial Celestial Toy Maker disc came out, release came out. Now it's very controversial. Yeah, well, let me let me pull up some details about uh, what's on this Celestial Toy Maker DVD release. Uh, not date, DVD release. And then it will tell me what, uh, what what's on it, right? You can look at Amazon, I guess. Uh, Wikipedia, BBC, Who site. I'll go to Blu-ray. Uh, Special Toy Maker, yeah, we'll go to the Who uh, Blu-ray.com. That should tell you what stuff's on there. Fine, this is actually a good, good place to review it from. So this is a very controversial release in that uh, uh, it's – doesn't even try to emulate the look of the original, right? It, it doesn't doesn't even come close to it. And I would say normally I'm very much against that sort of thing, right? I don't really see the point. I, I you know, go and check out Callum Weston's um, excellent, excellent uh, uh, animation of uh, Celestial Toy Maker. Uh, but the thing is, with this story, because it deals with the nature of reality. Right, and it, it deals with uh, things being you know out of the normal, as strange. I, it works. I think the animation works, and I watch it in color on big screen. And normally these things, I only watch the black and white version. But because this is a completely new interpretation of it, uh, I, I really feel, feel it works. But again, if you're somebody who wants to recreate the original, it's not that at all, right? It's not. In fact, again, here, let me pull up the the Callum Weston one so you can see. Uh, in fact, let's compare Callum West's one with how this new version, uh, this new version did it, right? Which is chalk and cheese, right? It's absolutely chalk and cheese. But again, for me, you know, this told the story. I was able to appreciate and enjoy the story. This is actually something that I'm uh, that I, the reason why I'm not really enamoured with the um, what's it called the 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 AI motion tele snap re, uh, uh, recreation by. Uh, in Levine, because and don't me not, I'm like so happy he's doing them. I, I think it's fantastic they're doing, it, and I got so much respect for him. But for me, it doesn't track as a story, right? They they're basically moving stills, and it doesn't. It throws me off. I'd rather listen to the audio, right? It's just an it, it yeah. The it's kind of it's like a motion telly snap is how I would describe it. Whereas like this Callum Western version is it's just perfect, right? It's Absolutely freaking perfect. So yeah, let me uh, uh, so we'll, we'll com compare, compare and contrast. Hang on one second. Following is number. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I got a message. I need to. Uh, oh, wrong one. Yeah. Doink. Which I spelt wrong, but I'm sure they're on some of it. Fine. So let's start with four. Again, I. I see, this one's in color, but it totally works, right? It, it, it's such. Vanished. A what? Oh, nonsense, child. Nonsense. <laughs> you have. So, again, this, I, for me, it just feels exactly like I'm watching a rather good reproduction of the original one. Well, right? Like... Directed very well, right? And, like, you, and then, no, a lot of it's in blackness, so, so it, it really quite works. But you have, like, the, the, the games they play. Uh, it's the only time I, I can imagine. Oh, this is it's not, not on the, this set file. It's on the next one. But yeah, I could I, only I, see your face with that hand. <laughs> I mean, I, I just think this is beautiful, right? I think this is absolutely beautiful. So, so let's com contrast that with um, the official BBC one again. And people hate it. People are really mad because it's not trying to recreate the uh, the original at all, right? It's really not not trying, trying to recreate it anywhere. Is it black and white? No, here we go. One of color. And I think this is trying to tap into that new mythical audience that doesn't exist. Oh, this was actually a very good uh, uh, version in the, in the in the Callum Weston one, right? Where it, where, but here, and you have the doc the Doctor goes invisible at you know at the beginning. But one might be worse, my dear. And it's 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 not. A, a, would they have realised that at the time? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, he's got some kind of physical, and I don't like they have the TARDIS in uh, uh, a green. Right, I think it was green because it wanted to. It, they meant it to look like it was uh, uh, gold and white. So here, yeah. so you have this thing where, where the uh, uh, the toy maker first turns up, and it's it, it's it's like something completely different that you would ever see. But I, mean, frankly, I liked it. Here, let me show you. And your inventions. 
Now, both of you be very careful. This place is a... Here it is. Yeah, is that, yeah, this is it. I might have guessed, of course. I've been waiting for you a long time. So again, any other story, I would not be on board for this at all, right? I would not be, be on board at all. But this one, I think it actually really genuinely works, right? Uh, I think 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 what, what's uh, uh, just uh, I, yeah it tells the story to me now uh, uh, you know that's just one man's opinion baby one man's opinion and I will say one man who is uh, 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 a little bit bonkers uh, uh, a little bit preoccupied by boobs you know but listen listen it, it, you know I can't I can't deny who I am baby I can't deny who I am uh, uh, it's probably better to counterbalance that right counterbalance that with a wager mind a wager mind uh, and a more Piercing, in, in, uh, uh, intensely, you know, uh, analytical mind. Sadly, I couldn't find anyone. <laughs> Sadly, I couldn't find anyone. So I, I scraped the bottom of the barrel. I found myself in Birmingham. Here's Birmingham's king of the geeks. It's Dan Hadley. How are you doing, sir? Yes, and I am also obsessed with boobs as well. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Which is disappointing, you everybody. <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, uh, yeah, so only good. Have you seen this yet? Uh, I haven't. No, I. I it, it was delivered about a fortnight ago, and it's open. It's on my shelf. It's right in front of my television, waiting to be uh, enjoyed. But no, I haven't. I haven't seen it yet. Have you? Uh, yes. Yeah. I've I, I, you enjoyed fact, it. Way, uh, yes, I did enjoy it. Right. I did because it, it tells us. So the way I, I think I would watch the Celestial Toymaker in the future. Yes. I'll watch Callum Weston's version for episode one. I would watch uh, like a. Maybe a Ian Levine Telly Snap AI version for episode two. I would watch this version for episode. Oh, maybe I'll watch the color version for episode two, the black and white version for episode three, and the original screen uh, uh, version. Yes. Because it's all dealing with like the unreality of reality. So I, for this story, it, it, it works and works very well. It comes bundled with extras. Let us have a quick look, see what's on it. Yeah, doink, we go here. In, in my view, it's a pretty ghastly story. Well, at least is the versions I've consumed in before. Um, so I'm open to be seduced by a new version of it, but I wasn't terrible. I've bought it for completion's sake, really, uh, because I want to support the range. Uh, and I don't, yes, but largely I, I do agree with, with uh, Ian Levine about it. Right. I mean, look, look, here's the, you, you can contrast the color version with the black and white. And I don't, I don't even see the point of looking at the black and white version. Because it's nothing like the original. No. I thought, by the way, the Callum Western version did seduce me into the story because it's so beautiful, right? It's not just the uh, tells story. It's literally beautiful. It, it 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 looks fantastic, and it's got a real sensitivity to it, right? I, th I think Callum's got a feel for story in a way yes. that in a way that this team have have got a far uh, more slackened uh, grip on. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you. So uh, the extras include um, the the you, you get it in color and you get it in black and white. I haven't yeah. listened to the the commentary yet. It's got so it's a uh, uh, round robin with uh, Peter Purvis, Dudley Darby, the camera. Who gives a shit? Delia <laughs> Linden, okay. Uh, Sylvia James and uh, David Devjack. You know, you've all produced all the animated version. I, I would be interested to listen to that. I will be it's, this is it's interest it is interesting what they're doing you know this is where I do differ from Ian I am interested in what they're doing in principle and I've spoken to to uh, Gary Russell I found him a really nice fella who doesn't take himself as seriously as as some would have you believe but this this line of product if this is going to continue now in this spirit this is a different line of product to the one that I started buying all those years ago. And right. you, when you, you know, it's like you get committed to a line of things. If I'm going to buy one of these, I'm in it for the long haul. Would if they'd have started this range doing this, I probably wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have supported it. Not that I don't want them right. doing it. If there's an audience there, I, but I am not necessarily I, the audience. I, I would I, rather I, have a recon. I can't imagine going to, to uh, doing this this type of reconstruction rebuild whatever with a uh, um any other story any other it would fail so incredibly hard right it just wouldn't work at all but uh this one i thought i felt, felt it did quite work so uh, i was it the other extras include uh the escape room first doctor this is gonna this is a range that's gonna carry on into the blu-ray range but it's not on the next which we're gonna talk about next which oh boy are you excited for season 25 
Uh, well, it, yeah, I only found out about it like 90 minutes ago because I've had quite a busy day. Uh, yeah, but uh, yes, well, yes, yes, I am. I'm excited about all of these because I do buy them all and then I sort of dip in and dip out of them. I'm going to buy them all, whatever. I, I do love most of Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> there's very little I don't, sincerely, well, there's very little. You love a lot more. You like uh, um, the uh, you 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 just like like the shooting Gatwa season. You you liked his take on for it. The, yeah, for, well, yeah, I I liked more than I didn't. You yeah, know, okay. I'm, an opt- I'm an optimistic person by nature, so I tend to focus more on the things that I did enjoy than the things that I didn't. Uh, and so I'd say. In my case, yeah, it was probably the stuff I liked versus the stuff that I didn't. The stuff I liked, we're at, we're at about 60, 65%, and the the rest is stuff I didn't like. So, yeah, I like two-thirds of it. That's probably about right. <laughs> I, was, I, I probably like, I, I'm still trying to work out whatever for a bit more. Jody, like Flux, I mean, Jodie Wiggle's first two seasons are unwatchably bad, bad. But I think, did, is there more stuff I liked in Flux than I liked in... Because it's hard to tell because Jodie Whittaker's performance is so epically awful. It just kind of like blinds everything else out. You can't really see it because it, it's just it does. Everything. It's like a blind. It's like a blinding yes. light, and and it you can is. you can fool yourself in some episodes of particularly Flux because I do know what you mean. For ten minutes, you can fool yourself, yes. but you're not watching it, and then she appears. It's like oh god, no, no exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It always derails it. God bless her. Anyway, so this history is uh, <laughs> the escape room. It's an hour and fifty minutes long. That's long. Uh, wow. It's unintentionally hilarious effort to, on the part of an undeniably el- elderly trio uh, from the first Doctor's uh, tenure. Who is it? It's uh, Peter Purvis, uh, Maureen O'Brien, Lisa Bauman. Okay, why is Lisa Bauman in it? Okay, uh, I guess that they wanted the young person. She's in her sixties, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she is. She's very. She's uh, a youthful sixty, though, uh, yeah, it, from what I've seen. I, 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 I've never, I, I, I've I, never I, met Lisa, but apparently she's she's really cool. She's. I, I'm sure she's cool. She's incredibly talented, right? She directed a uh, version of War of the Worlds on audio, which I thought was really yes, wonderful. It is the yeah. absolute best one I've ever heard. Very, very accurate. Much better than the Big Finish version, quite frankly. Oh, you told me about this when it came. It came out under a slightly different name, didn't you? T- yeah, I had no idea like that Lisa fun. Bowman was anything to do with it there. Yeah, she, she was the, it, it was all the Big Finish crew they, they got to do it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, so, she, uh, uh, so fine, that looks good. Making of animation, I quite like that. So that's the great intro from the, uh, the Years tapes, right? This was from you. Do you, you got the years tapes? I'm sure. Of course, I have. I bought every single. I bought every VHS, every DVD. I know. I know. So the years <laughs> tape, if you don't know, if you're not not an, you know, an old grey fart like me, that here, it's in the early nineties, wasn't it? I think when John Nathan. They started up. in ninety one. Yeah, as soon as, soon as JNT kind of secluded himself onto the VHS range as the special advisor. Yeah. Yeah, and he he did a very good job. So they did. Uh, uh, they had they had like these individual episodes they couldn't release as a as a thing so they had uh, they sh- they just put out the individual episodes with linking material with Sylvester McCoy and one and uh, um, I thought they were very good right uh, Carmen Severa audio interview I didn't listen to yet but I think it'll probably be Ooh. interesting and more and more more commentaries okay so look for me I have, I'm, I'm amazed to say it's a recommend right and I thought I would hate it but I'm amazed to say it's actually a recommend. I can't imagine doing any other story with this, right? Cannot imagine at all. My name's Vila Beck in the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!